Come on, I gotta show you around. Coming! Whoa. So, this is your place? Yup, take a look inside. Hey, who's that wolf on the wall? Oh, that's Greeley, the wolf alpha. Forgot that you've only met Liza. Yeah. Where were the other alphas yesterday? Probably protecting Jama, training jammers, the usual. He looks really cool. I bet everyone wants to talk to him. Yeah, but Greeley is the one alpha that doesn't like to talk to jammers. He doesn't approve of Liza's decision to train animals to fight phantoms. You seem to like him a lot. We're both wolves, after all. I look up to him. He's my alpha. Every species of animal has one, but only six of the alphas remain in Jama to protect it. Anyway, I also admire him because I was one of the only jammers who became his apprentice. Really? How'd you do that? I was one of the top students in my class for my weapon of choice. I was in fact the youngest archer to get their neon bow in Jama history. Greeley was most impressed. That reminds me, why do you have a bow and not a healing staff? I'll show you. You see, when a jammer joins the Alpha's army, they can choose one of four weapons to master. Sword, bow and arrow, crossbow, or healing staff. If you choose a healing staff, sword, or bow, you'll gain levels of experience. I started with an ordinary bow, then a rare one that shoots faster and longer, and finally, a neon bow, the rarest of them all. Only a few jammers have been able to get a neon bow, but most jammers get to rare and stop there. What about healing staffs? There are four levels for healing staffs. Basic, Strong, Epic, and Alpha. Just like bows, most don't get to the highest level. That's really cool. Yeah, and swords just have the Alpha Sword as the highest level. You get your sword and learn technique. Only 10 jammers have gotten the Alpha Sword. Being the highest level of any weapon is a huge honor. Crossbows don't have a master level so far. It's more like learning a skill and not wanting any glory from it. Learning to be selfless. Great! Anyway, I gotta go now. Liza's giving me my first mission. Okay, good luck! I'm so glad you're here. The phantoms have broken through our defenses and are polluting the forest. I need your help to save the forest while I investigate where the phantoms are coming from. Head to the bunny burrow and speak with the bunnies. They will tell you more. Good luck. Hmm. What's down here? A chest? Nice. Hmm. Wonder if there are any others hidden in the forest. The phantoms have polluted the water, and now our plants won't grow. My friends left me to look after the bunny burrow. They will return once the plants are all fixed. I heard the phantoms have a fortress hidden deep within the wild. I found this cork, but I can't reach that phantom pipe over there. Can you help me? Sure. Thanks! Can you help plug the rest of the phantom pipe? I saw some phantoms up ahead, so be careful! Alrighty, just remember your training and everything's gonna be running smoothly and... <laughs> okay, that wasn't so bad. That's an interesting door. What's behind it? Mm, gotta help the bunnies first.
Are you the one who bravely saved our crops? You're my hero! And we're moving on. I found this key a while back. I think it unlocks the phantom door to the far right of the bunny burrow. Thank you. That, buddy. Come at me. Another phantom key. Wonder what this unlocks. This is what the phantoms were up to. Be right back. I'll go find the rest of the keys. And last one. Liza! Great job! You've defeated the phantoms and saved all the bunnies! Please accept this gift and then return through the adventure portal. Deep in the woods? I hope it isn't true. 